This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. Hi, this is BK again. Um, Like I said, I go to school in Wichita, but my hometown is about an hour away from Branson, where you guys are all from, so that's really cool. I have a few stories. My first time I got cut off, the voicemail cut me off, and then it sounded like somebody was knocking at my front door. So I went to check, and nobody was there. So that was really weird, (laughs) but I will retell. I have four stories. Um, Actually, I have three stories. And so the first one I'm going to tell is about the time I set down my prescription that I had just refilled that day. My room was messy, and I set it down on my desk, and I know I did because that's where I kept it. And I left to use the restroom. I came back, and I couldn't find it. I was like, okay, uh, maybe I just misplaced it. I'll clean my entire room. Cleaned everything, every surface, wiped down everything, swept the floor. Everything was done. And so I went back, and I was like, it's still not here. Like, the last place I cleaned, I made sure I cleaned my desk last. Last place I cleaned was my desk, organized it, everything. When got my RA, I said, I don't know what happened. I can't find it. I don't know if somebody took it and they think they're playing a prank or whatever, but um, I can't find it. She comes in, she looks, she can't find it either. So one of my sweet mates comes in and she looks and she's like, I'm assuming this is a different bottle than what we're looking for. I freak out. I said, nope, that's it. That's it. I literally could not go into my room for two hours after that happened. It was so unexplainable, so creepy. Like, we were standing right outside the door. There's no way anybody could have gotten in or out. I just don't know. The second story is my roommate had just moved out, and I could hear I had noise-canceling headphones on, and I could hear somebody crying. And I was like, why are you crying? Why are you crying? Like, I kept asking. And then, irritated, I finally ripped my headphones off. I said, why are you Oh, and so I, like, knocked on my next-door neighbor. I said, are you crying? She goes, I thought that was you. I said, nope, it was not me. So we searched and we searched, and we could not find a source. So, again, unexplainable, really creepy. Um, The third thing happened my sophomore year. Those two things both happened my freshman year. My sophomore year, about 3 a.m. every night, every morning, I guess, somebody would tear down the hallway like they were sprinting. And then come back. I was being an RA, I said, I'm tired. I won't sleep. Sorry, I literally just saw something in my apartment. Okay, never mind. It's okay. Um, I was like, I could not sleep. And so I hear it. And I get up out of bed. I'm so excited. I'm going to catch these people on the tone to stop it. Like, I hear them come down. And, like, there's a door at the end of the hallway, that closes heavy when you open and close. I hear them. I don't hear the door. It waits a few seconds, whatever it is, and comes tearing back down. I rip open my door, and nobody's out there. I said, looks like it's time for me to go to bed. And I close, and I lock my door, and I put on music, and I went to bed. So that's the first thing that happened my sophomore year. The second thing is one night, so we had this ghost story that if you left your closet door open and your desk chair pulled out, a shadow man would come watch you sleep. Never believed it, thought it was folklore, like something they used to say to make sure your room was tidy or whatever. So I had my closet door open. It was one of those sliding doors, and you can't have both sides open at once. So, like, I can see one side that's super dark. And then it looks like both sides are open. And I'm like, that's weird. And the more I look at it, I can see the door, but there's a shadow of what looks like a taller person. I don't know if it was a man. It seemed to be a man, but then again, it was dark in my room and it was dark, whatever it was. So I'm not for sure. I literally looked at that and I said, not dealing with this tonight. And I rolled over and went to bed. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.